All right, thanks for joining me on uh, New England Ingenuity. It is great to have you here. So, quick one today, sharpening the chainsaw. Now, uh, there's probably lots of ways. There's probably ways that are safer than what I'm going to do. But this is how my friend John, who used to be a logger, taught me to do it. Um, I'm sure there's better ways, but this way works fabulous for me. Uh, as soon as I'm cutting and it doesn't feel like the saw is doing the work that like as soon as I have to start doing some work, stop and sharpen. Now, two part process to sharpening. One, you can take a rat tail file like this of the appropriate size for your chain. You gotta look it up, I can't tell you. Um, this one's a 730 seconds, that I can tell you. Uh, you get the right size file and then you come in here and you and you do that on every single tooth now in order to make sure you get every tooth and you know don't just keep going around and around and around and around because i would never do that there is either on your chain an indicator link that'll be a different color than the rest of the links that you can use as a start or on mine you'll see right here these two teeth go the same direction Everything else is opposite, 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 opposite. So I find those two teeth that go the same direction, and that's how, that's where I start. Now, do every tooth with the rat tail file. It takes a long time. You got to be careful. You want to make sure that you're going the same direction as the tooth. Be patient, and you know what? Don't do that. Waste of time. You get your rotary tool and you get the appropriate grinding stone tip, okay? So, again, 730 seconds for my chain. Your chain might be different. This is a Johnson Red Chainsaw. It's awesome. Um, so, bam, 730 seconds, okay? Pack of three, five bucks. You hit it, okay? And then, I usually would use two hands here. But you hit it. Bam, that tooth is done. Go around the whole thing. So that's st stage one. You do every single tooth. Okay, so it takes about five seconds per tooth. And it'll save you loads of time and it brings your chain back to brand new. Whereas using the file, I've never gotten it this sharp. So stage two, and this is the part that I did not know about. Um, you take a flat file or a power tool and what we're going to do is, see these, these are the teeth right here. This is what cuts, well it's got a burr on it. This cuts, this is the guide. Um, the problem is as you sharpen it, the guides become too tall. So what you got to do is take down the guides a little bit. Um, you don't want to take them down too much because then your, 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 it'll, the, uh, I'm guessing the blade will cut too deep, um, but I take them down a fair amount. Just make sure you don't touch these little rivets because that is what holds your chain together and it's going fast. And if you damage that, then that chain could just and you're bumming. So again, don't be stupid. You get hurt doing something, it's your own damn fault, okay? So I'm gonna take my grinding wheel Boom, and just hit that high spot on every single one. The way I stand is I put the chainsaw right here in my thigh. Yeah, it's my thigh, assholes. Okay, and I take the, the grinder, and I use both hands, except I can't right now, and I just hit it like this, hit it like this, hit it like this. That's it, that's all you're doing. You're just going boom, 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 boom. Chainsaw chain is probably going to be sharper than when I put it on here, sharper than new. So good luck. 